But the important thing to remember is that we need a fixed position on this because that's what allows us to drag the card around the screen and reposition it. So as we first select the card, what we want to do is set the star X and start Y position. And this is going to go ahead and just set these values to where the mouse is currently at. So we get the X and Y coordinates. The mouse move function is where the magic actually happens because this is the function that's going to be called on every single move as we're dragging the mouse around the screen. First, we want to set the new X position by calculating the star X position and minusing where the mouse is currently at and we do that for y and this will usually just be a pixel at a time we want to go ahead and set star x and start y for the next move once we have those positions what we're going to do is go ahead and just use the new x and y positions to calculate how far we want to move the card we're going to go ahead and set the card top position to card offset top and then we do the same for the left position now to get a visual of this i'm going to go ahead and just console out the star x and y position and then as we're moving this around we can see the function being called over and over again 